A project that I've been meaning to do for quite some time is an organizer for small fasteners and in particular a place to put all of the smaller screws that I've accumulated over the years. And before we go any further, I need to say that I'm doing this the hard way. The more sensible way to take on a project like this would be to get those plastic organizer drawers that you can find, and they're fairly cheap, and then build a small cabinet for those to fit in. But then where's the fun in that? Before I got started, I spent some time in SketchUp designing this to figure out all the sizes for the parts and how thick the material should be. And the majority of this will be built from quarter inch plywood. And here I'm cutting up a piece that's actually floor underlay. And that's the reason why it has these X's all over it. A big part of what makes this the hard way is all the cutting that you have to do. And there's a lot of it that I'm leaving out of this video, of course, because it's just repetition. To make the sides for the drawers, I'm using solid wood, and I'm gonna cut this down into thin strips and then run them through the surface planer to make them smooth. After trimming the strips down to the right width, it's over to the miter saw to cut them to length, and here I'm doing them all at the same time. So with all the parts cut for the drawers, I can start putting them together, and I came up with a bit of a system here that really didn't work out well, so I changed it later to something that works a lot more efficiently but I only got two or three put together before I put the project on hold to paint my floor of all things. After building my double-sided shelving unit and getting everything reorganized and cleaned up, I figured there wasn't a better time than now to do this. And I also got a break in the weather. We had a few days that were warmer than normal so I could crank up the heat in the shop and it wouldn't wind up costing me a fortune. Anyway, back to the assembly of the drawers, and here's the better way that I came up with, and that's to spread the glue on both ends of all of the dividers at the same time. And I set up a kind of a jig on a piece of plywood to evenly space them while I got the sides fastened with a single 5 8 inch pin into the end of the front and back divider. The interesting thing about this design is that the bottom panel actually serves three purposes. First of all, of course, it's the bottom of each drawer. Secondly, the edges are actually the slides and they fit in a slot in the side panels. And lastly, the front edge sticks out and this becomes the pole or the handle that you use to open and close the drawer. The next assembly step is to fasten the compartment's frame to the bottom panel. And I'm just using glue on the dividers to do that. And once I have it located properly, I'll drive in a couple of pins and that'll hold it together while the glue sets. And then after the glue has dried on all the drawers, I can sand the top flat and smooth using the sandpaper taped down to my workbench again. Okay, getting the drawers together was the most tedious part of the assembly process. And I'm glad that's out of the way, but I still have more work to do. 
Here I'm milling the slots in the side panels for the drawers to run in. And once again, I'm using the router cable to do that. And here I'm making a bit of a mistake. I guess taking four days off to paint the floor is coming back on me now because I've forgotten exactly how this is supposed to be done. The side panels are supposed to have slots on one side only. The way I designed this was to be modular. There would be six drawers in each single unit and all the drawers are exactly the same size. And then there would be five of these single units stacked side by side. The top and the bottom panel for each single unit is made from half inch plywood. I'm cutting that up here. And to assemble each one, I'm spreading glue along the edge and then driving in pins to hold it while the glue dries. And this is me taking off the side panel again that I just fastened because it's upside down. And then of course there's more sanding on each individual unit before I can fasten them all together. And to do that I'm just gluing the individual units together side by side. After a little bit more sanding on the top, bottom, and the face of the cabinet, I could get it installed in between the shelves where I designed it to fit. And then it was just a matter of loading up the drawers with the fasteners that I have on hand. And the nice thing is that I still have plenty of space left over for more as I get them. In the meantime, it's very nice to know exactly where to go to find a particular screw or nail or other type of fastener that I need for a particular project.